Sorry, I'm in the way. This is gonna be you. I think we're doing. They want us to do. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, all right. All right. So, picture. We've got this all figured out. We rehearsed it, but now, no, we didn't. I want to welcome Drew Holiday to the Boston Celtics. Drew, JT, Hendricks, and Lauren, welcome to Boston. We're thrilled that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. You're a two-time All-Star, five-time All-Defensive team, one-time NBA champion. One's a very meaningful number, but it can be improved on, let's hope. Uh, three times teammate of the year, which is unbelievable. And now you're a Boston Celtic. We watched practice today, the rest of us, uh, Drew was out there, and in the 21 years of being here, uh, for me and Steve, we've agreed this was just one of the most energized, focused, driven, uh, completely, insanely, you know, uh, connected groups. I mean, Drew and the rest of the guys are going to probably comment on that as the season goes on, but this was a great start to see the team and how excited everybody is, and they're excited to welcome you, Drew. We've all known of you. You've won gold medal with Jason and the rest of Team USA as well. I omitted that. Your wife is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, by the way. So there's just a lot of uh, championship qualities that you're bringing to the table. We want to welcome you to the Celtics sincerely. It means uh, everything to us that you're here. You put us on your short list or however that all worked out. Um, we're thrilled to be here with you. It's, it means everything to us. We take this very seriously. When we partner, we partner. And uh, I'm just thrilled that you're here as a Celtic, so thanks again. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Steve Paliuka, maybe a word or two? Go. And now people are lining up to, to even, even try to get in since, since you're coming, and it, there's so much excitement here. So uh, uh, we look forward to working with you in the community and seeing you on the court. And we've always respected you from afar in all those tough matchups that, that we, we had. And now, yeah. you're, now you're Real on the right fun. side. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the right side. Yeah, we so like thank you. you. <laughs> we love you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Drew, can can you just walk us through this whirlwind? You go from very recently saying you want to be a buck for life, to being traded, and now coming to Milwaukee's biggest rival and looking to knock them out. What's that been yeah. like? Yeah, um, it's definitely been a whirlwind. Uh, just my family was established there and we had uh school and and things like that we had friends but it's also a part of the business um i feel like coming here is definitely my best chance of winning and being able to help the guys here that uh have made big moves and, and done great things in this league so i'm here to really just help step up that game and become a champion so <clears throat> Uh, it has been a whirlwind. Everybody here has been so gracious and graceful. Um, everybody's tried to tell me where to live and, and find out what neighborhood to be in and how close everything is. And uh, that's just off the court, which I super appreciate because I'm all about family and my family is the most important thing to me. But basketball wise, all the guys have embraced me, <clears throat> all the coaches. Right when I got traded, Joe was the first person sending me clips. I want to do on uh, pick and roll defense or uh, how to run the offense, things like that. So it's been very, very welcoming and um, really just glad to be here, a part of this championship caliber group. And not only that, um, what this stands for. I mean, a Boston Celtic. And again, growing up uh, in L.A. as a Laker fan, I know a lot of my family's probably hurt, but, <laughs> but I know this is a blue-collar town. Um, they love people that work hard, and they put their heart into it. And that's just... The type of person that I am is every time I step into the court, uh, I give you my everything. Well, welcome, Drew. Um, reports said you wanted to be with the Celtics, you know, once the deal went down with Portland. Um, what kind of made this a destination you wanted to be? And now that you're here, for you and Brad, how do you look at this as a long-term home for you? Um, I mean, you just look at the resume, right? You look at the history that this place has had. Um, you look at the organization and everything that I've always heard about it. Um, you look at how competitive they've been in the last five, six years, and, and even before that. Um, even when I was in Philly, I, I went game seven with, with Boston 
uh, Rondo hit two threes to go to the uh, conference championship. So ever since I've been into the league and before that, this has been a championship caliber organization. So um, it was a very easy decision that this would be one of the places that uh, I would have loved to come to. We also lost to you guys in seven games not too long ago. So um, I think being a part of uh, this type of organization in this group is something that I, um, I really wanted to be a part of. I know it is early, Brad, but the long-term home for him, is that kind of a conversation that starts early or kind of develops over time? Yeah, I mean, we've wanted him here for a long time, and, and when the time comes and we're allowed to talk about those types of things, you know, this is something that we hope can be a long-time relationship, obviously beyond these years of his contract. So, But we have a few months to go before we can get too deep into that stuff. And he's communicated that with me from the beginning. Um, something that's huge for me is communication, being open and honest uh, and upfront. And he, he's done that from the beginning. So I, I definitely appreciate that.